I was really curious about life and, and work in India. So I came and lived in New Delhi for, uh, for a while and I took up a, a corporate job and I was wearing a suit and tie you know, in 45 degree weather for a year and a half and, and after that I decided I was going to leave office life behind and um, I set off for uh, rural India. I came here with the thought that I'd, I'd be there for, you know, in Delhi for a year and that was seven years ago. Life in Jharkhand for women totally sucks and you know, it's not, it got the highest rates of child marriage and human trafficking because you know, girls are not valued. Um, it's got the second, you know, it's ranked second lowest for female literacy and sanitation. What, what I do see positive is that, at least with, with the girls, uh, their work ethic is like uh, out of this world and that's really the key. So we're using football to bring girls together out of isolation onto a positive team environment and try to help them get educated. Ideally our, our end goal is that, uh, you know, these girls take their futures into their own hands and that they're able to make their own choices and, and uh, do what they want to do in life because I think if, if a lot of these girls were born where I was born, they'd be applying to Ivy League you know, schools. Uh, but as it is, they're trying to avoid getting married at age 15. I don't know if I really define it so much as see it. Uh, I recognize it when I see it. And you know, when people come and see you know, our program in Jarkin, it's like you know, looking at you know, an Audi engine in a junkyard. You know, something which is systematic and it's working and it, you know, is um, it's sustainable.